Hi guys, it's Shishi again, and this is part three of accessories. Today we're talking about bracelets. I do wear bracelets. I have, like everything else, I have tons of bracelets. I'm going to show you a few of my favorite bracelets that I wear more regularly. And we're going to go from low to high. So I'm starting out with... Um, Let's start out with Accessory Concierge. This um, bracelet, orange, can you think? Yeah, it's my favorite, one of my favorite colors. I bleed bright orange and burnt orange. University of Texas, University of Tennessee, both orange. So I wear this a lot because I wear football games also in the summer or the winter. It's just a great it, bracelet. It comes in several colors and it's like a really affordable Accessory Concierge. I will be linking all of these things underneath the uh, tab on my YouTube show as well as the blog, shishishow.com. Also, on Accessory Concierge, we have, this isn't the same one, but this is the Calf Hair Leopard Bracelet. It comes in several other, like, calf hair prints. But I love these, and I wear it every year. I've had it several years. It's changed a little bit, but basically the same. So the cap hair printed, it comes in other colors. So here we have um, a really cool leather bracelet, excuse me, or a leather rhinestone bracelet that's I love. And it also comes with a black leather. This is from Nina Shoes. I did a collaboration for them this summer, and got this bracelet, and oh my gosh, it's so pretty, and it's soft, it's real leather on the back. Nina, remember the Nina shoes? They do lots of like evening shoes and that sort of thing. Well, they also do a few accessories. Love this bracelet. Also, like I said, it comes with the black leather as well. I got the nude because I thought it would uh, go better with more things. Okay, next we have a bracelet that comes from my vintage collection, but is now being reproduced, and uh, actually J. Crew is reproducing something very similar to this. So it is the, I call it the Cartier look, and it's a hinged bracelet that I've had since the 80s, and I'm so glad I kept it because, I mean, it is so pretty. And you're going to start seeing this more and more. It's the Cartier Panther bracelet. Does it cost multi millions of dollars? This is like so inexpensive. The reproductions of them, I've seen them on J. Crew. Again, that bracelet will be linked. Also on J. Crew, that's been a staple for a long time, couple of years at least, because I've had this bracelet for a while, is the Pave Link bracelet. It's rhinestone, pave rhinestone. It's such a beautiful look and it's so rich looking. It really looks real. It looks like a real diamond pave bracelet. Um, love it. Great investment piece. Great staple. Will last forever in your wardrobe. The next thing is bubble bar. This is a no, probably another under $70 bracelet. It's the cuff. And this is a gold tone cap. I really love this because it's got a contemporary look to it. And um, it just, whoops, I think I put that on wrong. I think it goes, how does this go? Yeah, you want to put the wider part to the bottom because this is the thinner part. And you'll see me wear this a lot. I think it's under $70. And by the way, Bubble Bar, J. Crew, Accessory Concierge, if you shine, sign up and you're registered under their website, you can get their emails And first off when they're having their sales. I especially love Bobble Bar. They just had 25% off of anything on their site. And when I see those pop up, I always go on and, and pick up a few pieces to my collection because I, I love accessories. Same with J. Crew. You just have to watch right now. They're doing their outerwear promotion, 30% off. If you're a card holder, you can also get 25% during the sale plus 5% off, 
which is 30% off when they're having their, their deals. You can run it through your credit card um, in a roundabout way and get all your mileage and all that. So that's why I like to subscribe to some of these sites because I get in on the deals. Kendra Scott, um, these were last spring's collection. There is a new set that's only three pieces. That, but I mean, you can undo these. These, I don't know how many of this I bought together. I wear these so often. Sometimes I just take a few out and wear them. But there's a new set. These are no longer available, but there's another set on the website that I really love. Kendra Scott. You know I've talked about Kendra Scott. As well, I'm going to talk about Kendra Scott uh, rings really quick. These are the double rings. And... Um, they look like that. You just slide them through. I think it's a couple of sizes. I get more compliments on these. Look how cool that looks. People will go, what are you wearing? But it's just a really easy look. And you just slide them on. Fairly comfortable, you know. And then I've got this one, which I, I wear a lot. So those are the Kendra Scott rings. I'll also link those couple of unique items that you may have never heard of that I kind of acquired. Neon side bracelet. This is the screw bracelet. I've sold so many of these on the website. They are a couple hundred dollars, but it's the, it's a great look. It's gold tone, but it looks so real. Looks like it's like 14, 18 karat gold. And this little bar just goes in. You get your wrist in there. And then you just go in and then you screw it. So it's called the Meonsai bracelet. And I've got that linked as well. Love the way this looks. Uh, you can wear it by itself or mix it with other jewelry. This one is by Paula Mendoza. This bracelet, uh, I'm so sad to say, is no longer available in the gold tone. But I have linked it in the like pewter tone. And it's also a couple of hundred dollars. Or it's not a, it's not fine jewelry, but it, you're paying for the artisan, the craftsmanship, and the design. So really, really cool look. It's kind of got that snaky appeal. And so then, last but not least, is my high end. My favorite kind of go-to everyday jewelry is John Hardy. I love David Yearman. I've got some David German. I've got some Lagos. I've got some other um, jewelry companies that are higher end that's real sterling silver or gold. But my favorite really is John Hardy. And he designs out of Bali, Indonesia. And um, they started with so many different things. The processes they do that came from the artisans in India, I mean in uh, Indonesia, is the dots, and um, I don't know if you can see the dots. They're known for the dots. They're known for this kind of uh, cabling design. And I've got the the coil bracelet. I guess you can see I love coil bracelets because I'm going to show you another one. This is silver, but it's still in the line. You can get it with... Uh, one coil, two coils, or the three coils, and I even have a ring that goes with this that I've had forever. But this has been in, this is a statement piece that I've had for a long time, and I still wear it. So the next thing is the John Hardy, I'm going to show you a John Hardy ring. Uh, and I love wearing rings on my middle finger and on my index finger as well as on my pointer finger. So I don't have very, I don't, I know I'm tall and kind of lean, but I do not have long lean fingers. So you're, I'm just telling you right now, I have very short hands for the, for the rest of my body. They don't go together. So I will take a ring like this and I'll wear it here or here rather than here because this finger is so short. So that's a little trick, and um, FYI on that, you try it for shelf, so if you've got short fingers, try sizing up. So normally I'm a six to seven, here I'm an eight, 
and an eight. So I, you size up, size up about a size and a half to get your middle finger and your pointing finger. Last but not least is another coil bracelet, which has been my latest, latest investment this past year by John Hardy. Is, I mean, is that a coil bracelet or what? And I love the um, pewtery uh, silver. And this is the way you put it on. And you do, and, but it looks so good once it's on. It's just like a cool, it's very comfortable. And it does have a little splash of stones right on the tip of each end of the coil. And that is by John Hardy. And this is, I wear it a whole lot. So those investment pieces are tried to find. I'll spend the money when I can be sure of myself that I will wear it a lot. I don't wear a lot of fine jewelry anymore in my business because I have to show you all a lot of costume jewelry. But I always love it when I can incorporate a few nice pieces here and there. So it's important that it's classic and something I will wear. So thank you for tuning in again to She She Show. My accessories, part three, bracelets. Stay tuned for our next segment. She She Show, out of here.